welcome to Mural Painting 101 by Mural Lingo. My name is Megan and I'm the art coordinator and your host for this series. In this final episode, we have a very special guest with us today. Drum roll, please! and illustrator and designer, Toby! Hi Megan, thanks for having me. Hi Toby, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, so I'm Toby, also known as Toby Hato, and I'm an illustrator and mural designer. So I've painted a couple of murals around Singapore, including uh, two basketball courts and the Somerset Skate Park. So Toby, I heard that you'll be sharing with us your mural design process today. Yeah, so basically everyone's mural design process is slightly different and there's no right or wrong way to do it. But I hope that this, this video will sort of serve as a guide. Um, so what I usually do is break it down into seven basic steps. So would you like to share with us the very first step? Sure. Right, so basically the first step is to lay the groundwork for the whole, the whole mural process. So if this is a client mural, this would involve setting a timeline, project budgets and stuff like that. This would basically help any miscommunications down the line. And this is where actually you sort of figure out all the details of the mural as well in terms of wall measurements, height requirements, whether there needs to be ladders and scaffolding and stuff like that. Okay, cool. So that's all for laying the groundwork. Then what's step number two? Right, so for step two, once you've laid the groundwork for the mural, you can start to think about the design. So there's no right way to start a mural and there's no wrong way to start a mural, but what I usually find is very useful is to set, start a mood board. So a mood board basically is a collection of references or inspirations that contribute to the final product. And if you're looking for inspirations and stuff like that, a good place to start would be Pinterest, where you can create boards that help to contribute to the end. And if you're looking for more complete projects, Behance would be a good place to start as well. Okay, so does the next step involve some sketching and designing? Yeah, that's right. So that will be step three. So step three, once you've gathered like a group of references and mood boards, what you can do is start the actual designing process. So usually what I do is start with a sketch. So a sketch is a good way to keep things loose, but also allow refinements further down the line. So step four, after you get your sketch done, you can start thinking about inking and colouring. So in terms of colouring, it can be a bit intimidating if you don't have a full grasp of colour theory, but do not be intimidated. There are sites like Colour Hunt and stuff like that that sort of provide uh, references and colour palettes for designers and creatives. So stuff like that can be very helpful as you slowly get to grasp colour theory. Okay, so is that the final step? Not yet, so that's step five. So once the design is sort of finalised, uh, what we can do is do a, one of the last few steps, which is to do a mock-up. So this can be done fairly easily in, in Photoshop. So what you do is you distort and skew the design and overlay it onto the wall. And then for commercial work and client work, this is where a, it's a good time for the client to sort of see the final output and envision how it's going to look like further down the line. And this is where final changes and tweaks should be made as well. Okay, so that's easier for the clients to visualise, right? Yep, that's right. Okay, let's move on to step six. So once the mock-up is done, the client is satisfied with the final outcome, um, the what's left is to execute the mural. So if you watched up to this point, you must have seen all the other videos in terms of how to execute a mural, so just go for it. Okay, so is that the final step? Not yet, there's one last step, step 7. So once you've finished the painting, everything settled, mural completed, the very last final step is to admire and take some photos with it. Take some documentation, add it to your portfolio and Instagram as well. Yeah, no worries. So basically, again, this seven-step process is not like a like an answer sheet, right? So feel free to reorganize the steps, you know, change things up if you need to. But I hope this video has served as like a very useful guide for you to get started designing a mural. And that's the end of this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more about Toby or Mural you can hit up the link below. Right, so please like, share and subscribe to see more videos.